Hello students, here is the solution for physics, JEE Advance 2013, paper 1, code 8. Let's begin. The first question says, a ray of light along the given direction, i plus root 3j by 2, is incident on a plane mirror. After reflection, it travels along this, the angle of incidences. And this particular question will have answer for option number A, that's 30 degree. And this can be very easily solved by taking the dot product of the incident ray and the reflected ray and you well know how to calculate the angle by taking dot product. Alright, now let's go to question number two drawn from wave optics in YDSC using wavelength lambda. It's a monochromatic wavelength. The path difference corresponding to a point having half the peak intensity is and this one is going to have the option B. So the answer would be B but let's try to see how are we going to get this option B. We know for coherent sources, I net is I1 plus I2 plus 2 root I1 I2 cos phi. I net that has been said as 2i because we know the peak intensity is 4i and half the peak intensity is obviously 2i. So I1 would be i, I2 would be i plus 2i cos phi. And this is going to give us cos phi equals to 0. So you get the phase difference and you can have a conversion of delta x by lambda equals to phi divided by 2 pi. That will lead you to option number B. So let's go with question number 3 now. All right, question number three is from photoelectric effect, modern physics. A pulse of light of duration 100 nanosecond is absorbed completely by a small object initially at rest. Power of the pulse is 30 milliwatt and the speed of light has been given standard. You have to find the final momentum of the object. For this, the correct option is B. That is, the answer is B. And that can easily be achieved by using the principle of conservation of linear momentum. Here, the small ball is here. And when photon is incident on the ball, the whole momentum is transferred to the ball. So we can simply say the final momentum of the ball is the initial momentum of the photon which is E by C and E could be written as P into T divided by C and you'll be reaching to option number B. Then now let's go to question number four. That's from Young's modulus properties of bulk matter. It has been given one end of a horizontal copper wire of length 2L and radius 2R is welded to an end of another horizontal copper wire of length L and radius R. When stretched by applying forces, the ratio of elongation in thin to thick that has to be found out and the correct option is option number C where answer is C. That could very easily solve in this way that both are made of copper so therefore, Young's modulus of elasticity would be same. And now, this is your thick wire and this is your thin wire. Both have been applied, the force F. So in both the case, the force is same. And now you can go with this situation. Y equals to F by A delta L by L. Modulus of elasticity is same force is same. In other words, delta L equals to L by A. Now it's very simple. It has been said thin to thick. So be careful. For the thinner, it's L 
thicker it's 2L. For the thinner it's A. For the thicker the area would be 4A because the radius has been 2R. And you could easily find that will lead you to option number C. Now we'll proceed to question number 5.